I learned the hard way. It's very important to have a paint strainer. The paint clumps up or sometimes the paint is not smooth enough. It clogs the machine, so you have to clean quite a bit. It worked, but it wasn't ideal. Uh, the first room that I did did not clog once. I used the painter, the spray painter, and it worked flawless. On this room, it was a hassle. It clogged every maybe 10 minutes. I would have to take it apart and uh, clean the machine. It's easy to clean, but if you get a strainer, you will not have that problem. Other than that, the machine worked beautiful. Painted the room quite quickly. Okay, here's a look at my painting setup. The pole is so that way I could extend it so I could reach the ceiling so I don't have to use a ladder, which makes it so inconvenient because you have to lift the ladder up here, up here, back and forth. Okay, so. I made these propellers for the drill so it fits through the spout so I don't have to open up the whole lid. I pour it in a bucket, mix it with the collar, and I put this PVC tubing for the paint gun so that when I remove the canister, so I'm mixing the paint. So as I finish mixing the color in here, this is dripping into here, won't drip on the floor. Grab a scoop, pour it in the thing, put it back on, take this, put it back on, there's hardly any spill. So basically that's it. Pull it off of here, I made a stick, pull it off of here. And then I'm ready to paint. I will show you more in detail when we start painting. I put a fishing wire on there so I could turn it on from back here. That's pretty much it. Okay, here I just want to give you a little show of how the paint gun can be cleaned and how it works these are accessories nozzle tips this is for the flow of the paint to make sure that it flows good like i said you need a filter because if you don't have a filter it will you get clumps and it will clog up right in here and i will show you that so basically very easy the harder you press the trigger the deeper the pin goes in the thicker the paint gets pushed out. So like that's very nice mist. This makes it wide. This makes it narrow. Okay, so very important to clean. This is for the max and minimum. I kept it at the max, which was perfect. Okay. So to clean it, basically, your clog is going to be right here. Very easy to clean. Take this off, wash, pull this off, wash it carefully. Remove this. Very easy to remove. Pull this piece out, the spray tips. So the clog usually becomes because the paint is not strained smooth enough. Travels through here, gets a clump here. As it keeps shooting, it gets jammed inside there. So it doesn't let it flow, it becomes like a little plug. So if you have a strainer or a nice, very fine strainer, you, you shouldn't have that issue. I had only on one room. The other room, I guess the paint was much better so I didn't clump up at all. I did the whole room without having any issues. Just to clean it because uh, I had to change colors, as you saw. So once you wash it, very easy to wash. It's all plastic, very easy to wash. Put it together, wash all this very carefully. It comes off. All the pieces come off. So you wash them. Very easy to put back together. Screw it in, you cannot mess it up. That's it. 
turn your dial in whichever way you want the paint to, you know, it's a flat line like that. So basically you want to make sure which way it is. Close her up. Depending on if you're painting down, you want the nozzle tip down so that we can pick up. Depending if you're painting up, you want the nozzle tip back so that way as you pick up. Oh yeah, look at that. Fly to this beaver. Oh yeah, now see. Once you get to our angle. We're going to close anyway. Mm -hmm. One we'll coat and a little bit of another coat. Oh. Because it's already painted, so it's hard to see where it's spraying. Well, you see the height. It's funny, it looks, it looks like it's not painted in the thing because the fresh paint is so white. Yeah. Yeah, that can be retouched. That's not a problem. Touching up, and that's it. Wow. Yeah, we'll just that up later. Mm -hmm. okay. I think you do like that. Let's see how far it goes. Yeah, that's good. The hunt's fun. Perfect. Alright, that's good enough. You know. Okay, good enough footage.